Hey everybody, Ben here from North Country Outdoor Guys and today we are going to unbox the Regiet Gimbal. It's a stabilizer for iPhone and GoPro. So I backed this on Kickstarter back in early May and it was fully funded uh, by the end of May. And after a few shipping uh, hiccups, it made its way here to me from China. Um, I was backer 2,285 and they are now shipping in backer order. So if you're somewhere near that number and you're wondering where your Regiet is, um, it should be coming to you soon. Uh, this one shipped via DHL and then final delivery by the U.S. Post Office because we're not near any uh, major cities that would have DHL. So um, uh, this model uh, was $159 with shipping when I got in on it. Uh, I believe they're going to retail for $229 without shipping. Um, it's supposed to include the Regiet itself, a uh, GoPro mount, two batteries, a USB charger, and a hand strap. And I believe the cell phone mount is standard. Um, so uh, let's get into it. The company that makes these, I guess, is called Dobot, D-O-B-O-T. So I'm not sure if that's a company that's been around a while or if they've made other products or not. Um, so let's see here. Looks like we have two smaller boxes inside of here. Uh, one appears to be the unit itself. It kind of gives you a, a look at what we're dealing with. I've got a close-up cam over here on the other side too. And then this must be, uh, this is an accessory box. And then on here, they have all the various options. They can see that. And then they're checked off over here what you have. So in here I have uh, action com camera compatible frame, uh, one battery, one battery charger, counterweight ring lightning to micro USB. And that's it. So that's the accessory box. Let's, uh, let's oh, I'm going to keep you in suspense for a little bit. And we will open the accessory box first. There's a lot of rattling going on here. Okay, so this is the top. You can feel that. All right. Okay. So, looks like this is a standard. There, there are two blank spots here. Um, how well that side camera is working. So. Okay, I can't get that out of there very easily. So this is the charger. And I'm thinking the battery is one of those uh, standard uh, like through night flashlight batteries. Um, here's that. It's a 3,350 3, milliamp, 3.36 volt, 12 watt hours, I guess. I don't know, WH uh, battery. My lighting's not too good on that side. So, just smacks in there like that. And then we have two screws. Two thumb screws. We'll figure out what those are for later. Um, a very thin, very fragile looking USB to lightning cable adapter. That thing is thin. If you can see that, it's going to show it. Very thin. Hopefully that's durable. This must be the GoPro mount. Okay, and this piece, this little piece, Little doohickey. Well, it looks like it'll go with those screws. And this frame must be the GoPro mount. Okay. Here's some sort of little wrench tool. 
Pull it down in here. Very hard to get out. I don't know if it's a counterweight, maybe. It's got a little sliding knob on it right there. If you can see that. A little gizmo. So we'll have to pop the directions out. So that's the accessory pack. The Regiat itself is shrink wrapped. So we will. Pop that off. I like to. It's kind of the way I open, open my Apple products too. I just kind of slit the shrink wrap as little as I can. And then put it on there. Okay. Okay, I had that upside down. So here, ooh, here is the unit. So yeah, that must be a weight that goes. Something's hitting, oh, that can't be good. Uh, of course, I haven't powered that up yet. There's a silica bag in there. We're gonna take a look at the information packlet here. There's your battery. Battery screws into the handle here. Uh, let me just set the unit down for a second. We got another little box under here. Appears to be glued shut. There's no good way of getting into this. Well, let's see. I guess I can get in from this side. So this side has a carry bag which I wasn't expecting, so that's a little bonus. There's a little storage bag for it. Feels like there's something down inside here. Yeah, there's a Velcro pocket down in here. And inside the Velcro pocket, we have a USB to mini USB, or whatever the heck those little things are called in there. Um, Was pretty intense down there. Is there anything else in there or not? There we go. Yep. And then it looks like we've got our our wrist strap. And that screws in with a standard uh tripod screw. So let's take a little look at the directions here. Um, so the first two pages are a description of the various parts of the Regiet. Hopefully that's um, in focus. Then we got Inserting the battery. I'm guessing you're going to want to don't insert the battery in the opposite direction because this will damage the device. So the negative end goes towards the screw cap. Negative end. These don't stick out on the top like, say, a AA battery would. It's flat there. So I'm guessing that's your negative end. Oh. Yeah, the picture matches that. So you got this star part is the starred part on the top there. That is your positive end according to this picture. And then just the circle part is the negative end. Then they talk about balancing your phone, turning it on, and getting into the app and charging. You can charge it two ways. You can charge it by using the battery charger or charging it directly. Charger Regiet's battery directly by using the battery charger. 
charger gets battery directly by using the battery charger. <laughs> a little typo in a manual there. They've got pictures of the first method, of course, is charging it in the unit. And the second method is charging on the charger, but the description is for both. The same for charging it in the charger. So that doesn't make me confident with the rest of these directions. They want you to download the app. They get into controlling the, the Regiat, uh, shooting modes, pan and tilt. So like I said, I will make myself familiar with this um, at least uh, briefly familiar with it. That way maybe I can uh, do like I do with a lot of the videos and just kind of fumble my way through it so we can learn at the same time. And if people notice me doing something stupid, um, they'll be sure to point it out. So there's the unit. It's kind of heavy. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but it has a thumbnail. Uh, it's a kind of a rollerball thumbnail trackpad deal to uh, maneuver the unit once you got it powered on. But I think what I'll do is I will charge up the batteries first and then um, fully charge them up and then uh, put them in the unit. But for nice quality uh, carrying case. So it's got like a little strap here so you can clip it on. It would have been nice to have a, a belt buckle or a belt loop here so that you could just slap it on your belt maybe. But you got a hand strap there. So we'll see what this is for. This little doohickey. And we'll see how... I'm hoping that it's not a big hassle to switch between your GoPro and your iPhone because I tend to sometimes do that multiple times on one uh, shoot. So hopefully that's not a major um, procedure. So now I'm going to download the app and, uh, like I said, get familiar with it. And we'll be back in a couple of days with uh, some demonstration videos. That was the Regiet gimbal of iPhone GoPro stabilizer. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.